guys, Ryan here, and in today's After Effects tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create an audio spectrum that a lot of people use to showcase music. Uh, it's a really popular tool for music channels, and you know, it's another cool way to showcase music. Um, now, this is kind of a piggyback tutorial that I did about a year ago on my channel. Um, there'll be an annotation on screen for you guys to go check it out if you like. But this is kind of just like an updated version of that one because that tutorial kind of lacked information and, you know, it just needed to be updated. So let's jump into After Effects and get to work. So once in After Effects, you want to go up here to Composition, New Composition. We're going to change the composition name to Audio 1 just to keep track of our files. Make sure that the width is 1920 and the height is 1080. Put the frame rate to 30 seconds and we're just going to put the duration to 30 seconds just for the sake of the tutorial. Hit OK and you know when you start a new composition for most people you'll either have a white background or a color background or whatever. Now to get rid of that all you have to do is go down here to toggle transparency grid. Once you do that it will get rid of your background and have the alpha channel there for you. Now the first thing that we want to do is we're just going to double click and go find our music and we're just going to drag that onto our timeline. Then we're going to double click and we're going to get our background image. And uh, there we go. Just find your image. Doesn't really matter what it is. And drag again, drag this onto our timeline. And now, as you can see, it's not perfectly aligned with our project scene. So, what you want to do is you want to grab one of these end corners and we're going to drag out and hold shift to make sure that the image stays equally proportionate on all, um, all sides. Um, now what we want to do is we're just going to add a simple overlay effect just to give this image more, I don't know, pizzazz if you want to put it that way. So we want to go up here to Layer, New, Solid. And the color I'm going to be using is Dark Royal Blue. If you guys want to copy it, I'm using 29363F. That's the um, RGB code I'll be using. If you guys want to copy that, go ahead. Hit OK. Hit OK. And as you can see, we have a full solid blue color here. Now we kind of want to dim the opacity a bit. So what you want to do is you want to go down here, open up our transform, uh, I don't know, our transform panel here. Go down here to opacity, and then change our opacity to 80%. And as you can see, it gives us that nice bluish hue overlay. So that looks nice. Now the next thing that we want to do is we're just going to start working on our audio spectrum. So we want to go up here to layer, new, solid. Hit OK. It doesn't matter what color it is. As you can see, we have our solid blue color here. And what you want to do is, we're just just what I like to do is, I like to have uh, the music between um, the solid layer and a background layer. It doesn't really matter, but it's just preferably for me. I like that's how I keep uh, organized. So what we want to do is, we want to go up here and make sure our solid is selected. And what we want to do is, we want to um, uh, go make sure our solid is selected. Go up here to Effect, Generate, Audio Spectrum. And as you can see, once we do that, we have our audio spectrum here. You can't really see because uh, from far away you can't see it right now. But as you can see, we have these little dots, and that's our, essentially our audio spectrum. Now, to put our music uh, layer or file onto that layer, what you want to do is make sure you're still selected on that solid layer where the audio spectrum is, and change. Go up here to audio audio layer and change that to your music layer. So uh, our music layer is number two, and that's our uh, MP3 right there so if you if we play through it you can see that um, you know it plays the music but it's not a circle so we will get to that uh, in a moment but for now we're just gonna rename this and we're just gonna call this um, uh, audio spectrum or just audio uh, spec just for short just so we know that that's our audio spectrum layer and we can keep everything organized now what we want to do is we want to um, go to over here to effects and presets. Now, if it's not there sh on your screen, what you want to do is you want to go up here to window and go down here to effects and presets and hit control F5. Now, if you can't find it for some reason, you can go up here to workspace and hit reset to standard, and that will reset your whole workspace and it should be there. So, what you want to do is you want to go down here to effects and preset, uh, presets and hit, uh, let's search for polar coordinates. And as you can see, it shows up there. We're just going to drag that onto our. Uh, timeline there with our audio spectrum selected. What you want to do is you want to change the, uh, change the interpolation uh, to 100% and we're going to make sure that the type of uh, conversion is rect to polar. Now that's important because if you, if you have it the other way it's kind of mess it up and make it not look like a circle. So um, you can't really see it right now because we don't have the circles really um, that good right now so let's turn the thickness up so we can see it a bit better 
There we go. That's better. So as you can see, we actually don't have a full complete circle. Now to fix that, what you want to do is go up here to your start and end points, and for our start point on our for the first one on our start point, we want to change that to three negative three seventy by three sixty. And then for our end point, we want to go to change that to two thousand by three sixty. And once we do that, oh my mistake. Once we do that, you can see that we have a perfect uh, circle that is connected. So now we want to start putting the effects onto the circle. So to do that, we're just going to start and go down from start frequency uh, frequency all the way down to the bottom. Um, now, like this is you know the settings I found best. Now it doesn't really essentially you don't have to follow these exact settings. You know it's all up to preference. And you know the more you mess around with it, you know some of you know you can get some really cool effects. You know with different settings and stuff like that. But this is the ones I found best. So if you want to follow it, you can. If not, you don't have to. So for the start frequency, we want to change that to 50. Change the end frequency to uh, 13, or we'll change that to 1200. We'll change the frequency bands to 200, which is essentially going to give us more um, circle or more lines or circles or whatever. And that will just give us more um, audio to display, if that makes any sense. Uh, then we want to change the max height to, um, let's change that to 43. And uh, let's, uh, you know, this is all the preference for this one, really. Let's change it to 5,300. That's probably good enough. Um, change the audio duration to 95 and then change the audio offset to 10 actually we'll change that to 8 eh, actually no 10 would be better change the thickness to 5 eh, that's 5 is good uh, and the softness to 45 actually no we'll do 20 and we're just going to change the colors here. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to make it a white for now. Um, you know, nothing too special here. Make that a white. And what we want to do is now if we scroll down a bit more, we want to make sure um, that our side options is on side B. Now, since we're going to be putting this around the circle, you obviously want it on side B because if we add it on side both A and B, it's going to be playing both on the inner and outer of, uh, side of the circle. So if we play that, you can see it's on the inner and outer side of the circle so if we just change that to side B it's only playing on the outside which is kind of essentially what we're going for here now if you want to change the display options which is really cool you can change it to analog lines which is pretty popular you see this with other people um, using it you can see we have the audio lines there which is pretty cool and then we also have our digital dots which is essentially the same thing but just with dots so you know it's pretty cool with the effects you can get with it so but for now we're just going to use um, digital for now and um, yeah so those are really just some you know those are three settings you can have but um, you know that's pretty much it so not well we can add more effects to this so let's just do a quick RAM preview see how everything looks let's just take a quick look alright and let's take a look Oh wait, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to move our music forward a bit because I want to see more, there we go, that's probably better right there. Let's change that, let's see how that looks. Let's do a quick RAM preview and stop it at like 5 seconds. Right. That's looking pretty good, but I'm not liking that spot right there. So let's try fixing that. I don't like how it's on the edge there. So let's fix that. Let's go back to our uh, effects. Change that to 1100. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, 1100 looks good. Start. Let's, uh, my mistake. I'm just trying to mess around with some of the settings to try to get it perfect. Uh, no, don't know. Okay. Uh, max height. We can change that. Let's change that to, so let's change that to 6800. Give it more of, more height to it. Maybe not. Let's change that to 6000. A little too high there for me. Like I said, off the preference, but we're just gonna, you know, be messing around with this. Okay, so 
let's see what can we add now okay so what we're gonna add now is we're gonna kinda add like a glow to it so if we go up here to effect blur and sharpen and we go down here to CC radial blur fast um, you can see we get this nice blur effect it looks really cool but we have too much so we're gonna change the zoom to brightness to give that brighter feel to it and we're gonna change that to 15 I can see we have this really cool like like I don't know how to explain it but it looks cool it kinda gives it that extra glowing effect to it and as you can see as it goes out farther the blur the more blur it kinda gets and you know it's pretty cool so if we just do a quick RAM preview let's see how this looks we'll wait till about five seconds to give it to uh, give it to us now it's kinda going slow cuz I have it on half um, but you guys can change it if you guys ever want to change how like how the quality is of your RAM preview you can just go down to here and you can change it to full half third or quarter we'll change it to third just so we can get a faster preview there so I mean you know this is pretty much the end of the tutorial um, you know I hope you guys enjoyed it if you do please leave a like um, if you're not following me on Twitter, go follow me at Symmetry Toots. And if you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button for more uh, tutorials just like this. Um, but if you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below, or you can email me at symmetrytutorials at dmail.com. Um, and uh, you know that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, let's just uh, do a quick preview. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I will talk to you later.